Hello everyone and welcome to Deckheads, brought to you by Shark Tank Media. This is episode 2 in our X-Wing Miniatures game. I'm Tim. And I'm Frank. So, in our last game, uh, we did the base quick start rules and I was the re rookie rebel pilot versus the, uh, the two schlub uh, TIE fighters. And uh, it was a close victory, I was smoking, but uh, got it out of there alive. Yeah. So now we've gone on to our second encounter. Still just using the core set, but we've done some, we've done some squad building. So I'm going to be playing the Rebels this time around, and I... So um, I should mention that our point total, we went with 34. Now the book re recommends that when you're using the core set, do 31. But we thought, you know what, screw that. Let's We're have gonna, a little bit more fun. Yeah, let's... Let's, 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 let's use let's some cards. Kick it up a notch, as yeah. it is. By so, two points. <laughs> yes. Three. Three, three okay, points. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's almost I'm only 10%. partially or Almost 10%. Dedicated. Okay. So my pilot, of course, is Luke Skywalker. Um... And that leaves me with six additional points because he cost twenty-eight. So he's a very expensive, but but well worth quality it. pilot. Hey, um, pilot skill is it not? Yes. And what's his ability? So his ability is when defending, you may change one of your um, focus results to an evade. Now the X-wing doesn't have an evade maneuver or the evade action, I should say. So that is really handy um, because in the situations where you know you know you're going to be defending, and it is it doesn't count as an action. You do it every time. Yep. Yeah. So. I also have the Astromech R2-F2, which gives me another action, which is kind of like the evade action that the um, that the TIE Fighters have, but what it does is it gives me one more agility, and agility, of course, is what determines how many defense roll dice you roll. So I will get to roll one extra defense dice if I use my R2-F2 action. Okay. That, in addition to Frank's... <laughs> to Frank's... To Luke's... You know, honestly, I'm touched. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I've spent the last hours <laughs> talking about how great of a pilot I was back in Star Wars Galaxy, so... So, naturally, the best My X-Wing pilot. Skill pilot. Nine, though. Okay, so... So, Luke's ability in addition to R2-F2 will make it very, very handy when I'm in a situation where I need to defend. Now, added on top of that is the elite talent, Marksmanship, which is essentially like Focus Plus. So, it's another action that I'd use instead of Focus, and what it does is it lets me change... One of my focus tycon tycons? One of my focus tokens. icons. That's it's that, yeah, it was token icon. Yeah, there you exactly. go. One of my focus icons well, to added to our, our crit, lexicon. And the rest of the focus is to a hit. So it's just kinda like a, a, a focus icon or a focus action, but it gives you a crit as well. So that very strong, very strong. Excellent. Okay. So uh, on the Imperial side, uh, I would still have two TIE Fighters. So the first one I've chosen is Dark Curse, who is here, actually. So Dark Curse, when he's defending, ships attacking cannot spend focus tokens or reroll attack dice, which is going to be great against Tim's uh, marksmanship, because he yes. won't be able to uh, use that focus token. Yeah. Now, uh, his companion... Now, uh, Dark Curse doesn't actually get to use any upgrades at all, so he has none. But he costs uh, 16 points. So his companion in this battle is Mauler Mythyl. And Mauler Mythyl, when attacking at range 1, gets an additional attack dice. So that means that if I am at range 1, I get to roll 4 instead of his usual 2. So or Usual 3. Yeah, usual 3 because, because he would, at range 1, one you would get a plus 1. It's very nice to be close. Now, he, however, does get one elite skill, and he's chosen Determination, which, when you are dealt a face-up damage card with the pilot trait, discard it immediately, resolving its effect. So instead of taking, like in the last game where I had it so I couldn't use my pilot ability as much as that mattered, I could have used this instead. Yes. Um, now, that's actually quite important for Mauler because I do want him to stay close and be able to keep doing that damage. Yeah. So, uh, the question about Dark Curse, does it, is, does it say cannot use focus icons or can't use focus actions? Focus tokens. Focus tokens, yep, so that's it. Alright, so yeah, it does, it does cancel my friendship. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah. yeah. And I've, I've just uh, adopted my Imperial Squadron, the um, Alta Keep It Squadron. Yes. Mine is Luke Solo, is, uh, is my <laughs> squadron. So, alright. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start out picking our moves here. Alright. Flip it. Alright. We're going, we're both gunning forward. Alright. So, low Most skill. Yeah. So, that's Dark Curse. Dark Curse will make his move first. Always speed ahead all around. Then, the next lowest skill. Now, we're not switching around because the pilot skills are uh, 6 on Dark Curse, 7 on Muller Mythyl, and up to 8 on the Luke Yep. So, instead of flopping back and forth, as Frank mentioned, we will... F did I say flopping? You did. 
Anyway, the swap this, and swapping. Well, this I was, our... was going to say flip and swap. Oh, really? Okay, so swap. this is this is the portmanteau show where we're mixing up all the words in the English language. Yes. Oh, we didn't use actions, but it doesn't matter in this stage. Yeah. Um, well, let's see here. Can I target lock you? No. 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 Nope, no. Nope. All right. Not that you can target lock Dark Curse to begin with, but sure. You oh. can, but it, I, I'm not able to do it anyway. Stay with it. Yeah. It's true. True that. Yeah. It's almost like I planned. Whoa. Whoa! Crazy. Where'd my rolly thingies go? Where did your rolly thingies go? Now, we do have asteroids on the field, and we placed these before we started filming. And one of the important things about that is if any part of your move, or if your end action ends up leaving you on an asteroid, you're in trouble. You can't make attacks. You have to roll to take a damage. Yeah. You have to roll an attack dice, and if it comes up a hit or a crit, you take one damage. Yeah. And if you, if you land on the obstacle... You're not even allowed to attack anyone that turn, but you can still be attacked. Not a good time. It's right there. Alright, I'm slipping. There we go. Alright, so give me a hard bank three. It'll be a three turn? Yep. To the left. And did I hit it? Oh! Just barely missed it. Just barely missed it. You son of a... It's also worth noting that when moving through, uh, or shooting through an asteroid, the defender gets a bonus agility token, or dice. This is true. Go ahead and collect those. Alright, oh, forgot to use actions again. We did. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do an evade. And a focus. The, I'm not allowed. Yeah, I have to check range for target lock, because... But, uh, so what I'm going to do is, can be attacked, but I can't, I'll use marksmanship, okay. which will mark with a focus, <laughs> uh, right there, but, you know, I, you know, I think there's a token in there for marksmanship, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so, I go first, this is range one. It is indeed range one. Mm-hmm. And you are able to see around the, uh, yep. what you call it. So I'll go ahead and take my three. I get to roll four. Unfortunately, I don't get to do anything with my... As worked on it, I do have... One crit. It's okay, because I evaded. You did. We'll go ahead and consume that negate. token. Yep. To negate one attack dice. And, uh, it's all the watch. Yeah. I think Mahler is probably out of range to attack there. Let me check. Oh. Oh, so close, Malls. So close. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and start uh, planning out the next moves, huh? Yep. Take risk. Nice. Good. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. All right. Ooh, so, catering. lowest pilot skill. If I can have the four there. Yep. Go ahead and. Stress token. Indeed. And I'm doing a three bank over here. We'll go ahead and take a focus. My two will be doing a three bank. Question is, can I do it without hitting that asteroid? Oh, that's so close. Well, that's going to happen when you get to the end of it, though, because you're going to get stuck on B. That's not very good for me. No. And I get to attack first. Which I'm pretty sure it's range one. I'm going to go ahead and give you range one on that one. Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, so generous of you. Indeed. So I get three dodges. So let's see what happens. No focuses. Two hits. Two hits. All right. Using my focus token. Switch that. Yeah. You got out of that pickle. I sure did. Now, that is a marksman token. Are you able to use it while defending? Nope. Okay. But you do get that extra agility dice. No, oh, because you didn't use that action. 
Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. So, so, but you do get your one extra. Yeah, I get to. I get basically. All right. So I get now. This is smaller. smaller. So you get four. So I get four. That's rough. He's doing what he came here to do, Sam. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately. Wow. Four buttholes. <laughs> Oh, okay, come he's, on. He's going for the mall. He squiggles. All right. Well, oh, I forgot to put shield tokens on it, but it's I okay. take so I take one one damage. Well, I got four hits. Once, yep. I I made it one. So. You did. Okay, cool. One damage. So three damage on one. That's the mauler. That's the mauler. That's how he does it. All right. Um, in my oh hell yeah, yeah let's take a range look. of uh, of our friend Dark Curse there. He's definitely shooting through rocks, though, so you're going to get two extra, because that's a range three. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. With an extra... With an obstructed, that's what you call it, an obstructed shot. Obstructed shot, he only gets two attacks. This is going to be bad for him, but he's going to try. There are like two crits in a Merle Zero phase. Yeah, I could do that here. One hit! Ah, I'm going to change one to <laughs> the day. So, okay. Skywalker's yeah, ability that's... saved me. There. All right. Mm-hmm. Question is, what do I think you're gonna do? It's a great question, Mr. Jones. What am I going to do? Alright, are we ready? We're ready. Let's flip it. So Dark Curse goes first. Yep, so he will do a two straight. Two straight. Remove his stress token. Indeed. And uh, that little boy will go ahead and grab himself a fucking as well as out here. That little boy. Yep. Frank. Because he's a TIE fighter. Now, here's the thing that sucks for old Mauler. It doesn't matter what I picked. It does, because it what matters is how it ends, not... Oh, you're right. Well, then shoot. So you may have put yourself on a... Asteroid. Asteroid. Because I thought that it didn't matter. But instead, you put yourself on an asteroid. Yep. So, you cannot perform an action. Mm-hmm. You, roll, you roll to determine damage. You don't take any damage, but you're not allowed to attack. Correct. I did a turn two. Question is, will you be in range of me? Does not appear to be the case. Nope. But I can't target lock. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, let's see here. Am I going to be... You know what? No, I'm not going to target lock. I am going to use... um, R2, 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 F2's uh, increased agility. Okay. So I go first, you're not, I can't do anything, so yeah. Mahler can't do anything. But, the Curse Meister. Dark Curse. And that's a clear shot. Yeah, it's yeah, called a clear shot, range three, so I get two additional because of my R2, F2. So you're rolling four versus my two? Yep. It's just like last round. Yeah. Two hits! But I can change one to anything. So two hits. Cleared out. All right. Fair enough. All right. Next round begins, and I get off of the run. Unless you do like a one straight, that would be the dumbest thing you could possibly do. These asteroids are freaking me out, man. I know. Let's. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Let's flip them. So, uh, Dark Curse goes first. Yep. Ooh, Frank. I hate to tell you, but that's a three left that you played there. Oh, it is. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. It's unfortunate. I was like, what is he doing? Man, I was really proud that I made that turn, too. All right. So, uh... And then a four, you eat? Yep, but you do still uh, take half to roll damage for going through the asteroid. No dodging it. And it was smart of you to use a K turn, because you wouldn't have been able to action anyway, because you're going through... Let's see here. Two bank to the left. Well, I believe we will be in range. I'm going to go ahead and use marksmanship. That's not good for me. No, it's not good for you. Um, so range one. So I get four dice. We sure about the school head? I want to know. It might be range three. I'm right. pretty sure I get to roll four dice. Four dice. What? Okay. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, that's obstructed. Well, it's one crit anyway. 
Wow. <laughs> so I take a crit. Yeah. All right. It's awesome. I'm so happy that. Ship, munitions failure. Immediately choose one of your secondary weapon upgrade cards and discard it. Ah! Put this face down. So the so mauler just takes a hit. Just takes a hit. Now the mauler is going to attack. He's going to get his maul on. With four. I was so sure I'd be able to kill you. I can't believe you didn't. All right. How many did you get for this one? Just two? Two. All right. Let's see it. This is where the game ends, Frank. This is where the game ends. One crit butthole and a normal butthole. <laughs> okay, we need to stop calling them puddles. <laughs> I can't handle that. I can't handle that. Need some squiggles. Give me the squiggles. Oh, game over. Hold on. Oh wait, you're right. Ha ha. I'm Luke. But you still get crit. I still get crit. So let's see what the crit is. Let's see. Let's see. Boom. Console fire. At the start of each combat phase, roll one attack die on on a, on a hit. Suffer one damage. <laughs> or I can use an ac- action to put it out. Okay. It's legit. Indeed. All right, so the game continues. And I don't think Dark Curse can hit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I turned the right way. Dark Curse is just like... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's getting nasty out here. Oh, I gotta choose how to move these guys. All right, are you ready for this? Yep. Let's do it. Once again, I turned the wrong way, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do Star Curse. <laughs> Take your stress token there. Yep. Yeah, we Okay, and then I need a one sharp. You might just do that for me. Sure. Yeah. This is gonna be. I'm just gonna go. And I'm still stressed. Yeah. That was a white movement. Still stressed, and I will do a two. Where is the two? There we go. Okay. It's good. good. <laughs> Lifting this straight up. Right. Yeah. There's an assumption that in a three dimensional plane he had enough. Yeah, we would go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out space isn't flat. I'm sorry to uh, surprise you with that. And I'm putting out my console fire. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so. Okay. Yeah. Next turn. Next turn. <laughs> All right. Ready? Shit. One, two, three, Z's. One, two, three, Z's. Okay. Two straight. <laughs> yep. Two straight. Two straight to hate. We're gonna use a uh, evade. No, we'll use a focus just in case. You never know. And so I got a two bank over here. I'll go ahead and take care of that. Thank one. you. And then if you could go ahead and give him a. Uh... It doesn't matter. There's literally nothing he can do. Nice. I kind of regret not. Tart. I'm not using that target lock when I had the opportunity before. It doesn't matter. Um, three bank. What am I doing? You're banking for threes. Slip over here. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Am Is I going to be killed by... <laughs> <laughs> you still got to make the next turn, though. Yeah. No, I'm done, man. This is no chance. I don't get to use an action now. This is true. This is true. So, go ahead. I go first. I can't do anything. He goes next. Can't do anything. You're at two it's range. Two. So. He's got focus, so he gets to shoot two. And you get to defend too. Yep. Let's see. Have you rolled any blanks with red dice today? Yes. Have you really? Because Maybe. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna make any butt jokes. Not gonna make any butt jokes. He's <laughs> a squiggles. Oh, yeah! you got the squigs. Got the squiggles. Got the squiggles. Uh. I need to get the focus. Okay. All right, ready. Yep. Two, three. All right, so lowest. Lowest goes firsties. Oh man, you might put yourself on the next try. And indeed, you did. 
Only barely. Do I still get to spin around? Yeah, because you still end in the same spot. Okay. You just end, so... <sighs> so no attack for you, no action for you, and... No. Man, no, asteroids have not been... See? I didn't, roll a, I didn't roll a hit. That's true. That's the third time I have so it. So you got a one left, which I'll take care of for you. And uh, his, none of his actions will matter, so... Well, he gets a focus anyway. I'll be out there on that one. Now again, I don't get any actions, and I have to roll this. But I can't attack, technically. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's cool. And, and you blew up on the asteroid. <laughs> and that's game. <laughs> Death by asteroid. Death by asteroid. Wow. Wow, man. those obstacles were a lot more intense than you thought they would be. Oh, yeah. And trying to move around them is difficult. We... When we were setting these up, we really made a dense asteroid field over here. Yeah, a very dense asteroid field. Um, Every single ship hit an asteroid. You're right. Every single ship. <sighs> yeah, my, my plan kind of worked out. Because um, I wanted to come out here and just kind of either see what you were doing and either go straight forward or go through this path here. So that's kind of what I was going for with this, with this asteroid setup. And it kind of worked out because you came over here. And I was like this, and you were shooting through asteroids, and the other guy came up, and, uh, you know, I didn't roll any hits, so it didn't matter. Well, the... well, Muller, I think he managed to get two full attack rounds at you at range one. Yep. And uh, that is, he did exactly what he was born to do. Well, yeah, the, the first time it just completely crushed me because you rolled four hits. I don't think I rolled four hits through a whole game. No. But on one roll. <laughs> you no, go. you did. Your fourth hit was on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's sad. Yeah, that was, that was a rough game for me. But, you know, that's a, that's something you run with dice games. You always have the possibility. But, like, how many exciting dice rolls were there this game? Yeah, we, it was just like, just like, oh. I'm just like, oh, I gotta get a V to win. Yeah, you know what I mean? Where it's it's just the like, thing, that Luke's ability where he turns a focus to a dodge is incredible. It, it is amazing, yeah. Luke, Luke is a very good, very, well, that's why he's 28 points. Yeah. Uh, so absolutely phenomenal pilots. I happen to take perfect advantage of both of my pilots' abilities. It's true. I, I put Curse closer to you so you couldn't do anything on him, and uh, Mithra was able to sneak around and just zoom right in. Because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that was the path you ended up taking. Yeah, two range one hits from Muller Mithil was pretty brutal. And uh, Definitely. Because that's the thing. Is a, sure, sure, I could say, oh, BS luck with the dice, but honestly, I... Put myself in situations where you rolled a lot of dice, and that's yeah. and that's how that's you, how you counter that's, the exactly, dice. That's how you mitigate it. Is I you, mean, you put yourself in the situation to roll as many as you can. You have a 50-50 chance on each dice to be a hit. Yep. Period. And then you know one of those hits happens to be that, and then you have two eyes. Yeah. So when you look at the chances of that, you know it's it's good. And the the dodge dice are only oh they're also no they're also 50-50. So right. the, the no the, no they're not. Yeah, they are. No. no. It's it's three and eight to oh, dodge. You're right. Three and eight to dodge, and then two focuses. So you That's always, right. yeah, if yeah. you're matched die for die, the attacker always has the advantage. Right. And right. because I was loaded with attack dice, this which is a particularly unique for the Imperials, I was able to really. Yeah. Usually, have the, that. the the Imperials are about zipping around and evading and that barrel rolling and that kind of stuff. I didn't get to do any barrel rolls. Yeah, it's, that's too bad. But uh, but yeah, so like, all the times I rode up, I was hitting asteroids. Because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't allowed That's to true, barrel yeah. roll out of the asteroid or something. Yeah. Yep. But no, uh, definitely an interesting game. Um, you, uh, one thing I say that worked out really well for you is my guys got split. Yeah. And um, if you hadn't blown up on an asteroid, you had a great chance to take out I Dark Curse. He, I was, I was like, I was, I think I was here. Yeah. So I was right in your firing range. I would have had to turn around to do anything. Well, you, you would have probably K turned. I would have turned into you. It would have been an exchange of fire. K, K turning is so risky. I love K turns. They are amazing. I'm a big fan of K turn. Yeah, I guess I guess against Dark Curse, I probably would have K turned because I can't. You can't use your abilities. Yeah. You just got to get in there. The and only start thing that would have been helpful against him is R two F two, but I've already got his ability, and he only has two attack dice anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would have been K turning. Yeah. Oh, so I mean, as demonstrated, unlike. For some reason, with Netrunner, where only the runners were on, one, uh, we've got an imp victory and a rebel victory, so there's definitely no, a lot you can do. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, you won the first game with, with rebels, yeah. and then you won with them. So we have a, Frank is winning every time in this game. <laughs> Look, Star Wars 
and space. It's like my home field twice. Yeah. So um, it's yeah. definitely a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to our next round. We're going to go ahead and start dipping into the expansions. What have we got? So right now we have the Y-Wing. We have the um, another X-Wing, with which gives us Wedge, which which is really cool. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a third X-Wing because we don't have a second core set yet. But we do have that, and then for the Imperials, we have uh, an Advanced TIE and an Interceptor. Now, since I'll be playing... Well, we'll flip again. Hopefully I play Imperials, because there's a really sweet... If you want to play as here, I want to play Rebels. We'll just go. Well, let's do it, then. Let's do it. Let's do Imps. I'll, I'll do... <laughs> yeah, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> there no Imps will be done. But anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> They'll be let's well done after I'm let's finished. Let's take a step back here. We have a, a TIE Interceptor and an Advanced TIE for the Imps. Uh, y wing and another X wing for for the rebels. So we'll, gives us a lot more options. Yeah. Now the Tie Interceptor is a mean ship. Absolutely uh, the most agile ship in the galaxy. Second only to the A wing. Uh, which, which definitely is something we're going to pick up. So <laughs> that's just what we have right now. We, I, I plan on getting a, potentially a second core set. I don't know now because I picked up the, the I picked up the the dice pack and another X wing. So I don't know if we need another core set. I think we're fine. Because um, I think definitely we... pick up a type bomber. Well, that's not definitely, but we'll definitely pick up an A wing. Definitely pick up a B wing. Definitely pick up um, probably a type bomber, but also definitely a slave one and probably a Millennium. Yeah, there's, so, yeah. there's so many cool ships to look at. Yeah, I know. It's just I, I can't get enough of it. I prefer and, to think of the Millennium Falcon as a YT thirteen hundred, though. I'm not sure if it'll have come out by the time this airs, but there's a uh, a double pack. I can't remember what it's called, but it's two different like. Um, uh, two different uh, tie interceptors. One's one's red, and one's blue, and they have. Oh a... yeah, the special ones because one yeah, of them's yeah. with the uh, imperial, uh, the emperor's guard. Yep, exactly. Yeah, yep. so they get the red color. Mm -hmm. um, then, so just thinking back to my sweet days, those those tie interceptors were absolutely the scariest thing for an X-wing pilot. So I'm looking forward to seeing how those go. Yeah, through. so, so good, game always. All. good game. So uh, we'll catch you next time here on Deckheads. That was the weakest clap. I know. Well, let me see. I'm slapping my face is better than that. All right, is that better? We're good. Okay. We're good. We got a dog here, so we're all good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shut your mouth. You're horrible, horrible. <laughs> this episode brought to you by Smash Mouth. It's the Smash Mouth. It's the S. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Deckheads, brought to you by Shark Tank Media. Ah, oh, I got distracted. What's your name? Balls. This is the episode two in our. Okay, let's in our fart series. <laughs> now, in the last series of farts, Tim ecked out a close victory. What can I say? I'm the starter farter. <laughs>